I went to Walmart today and I got my new pumpkin reaper. I got, and I'm excited because this year the 12 foot inflatable from Walmart are only $49. Yeah, like last year they were $59. So they actually got cheaper this year. And e even easier to afford from already a cheap $59. So I'm very excited. So if I open it up, there we go. There's, this one comes with instructions. It also comes with stakes. Let's see how many. Yep, it has four stakes. I don't know why the other one didn't have that. Let's pull this out. So there's a the hand. Then there's the bag. I'll put that away. This looks like it has the same box as last year's inflatables. What fan does it have? I think it has a, a, a regular base fan. No tornado fans, it seems like this year. Maybe, I don't know why they, they got rid of tornado fans for the most part. Like a lot of inflatables year, like last year and the year before that, had tornadoes, but I guess it's a pretty good, I guess it's alright. You know, I like tornado fans a lot. They're, they're, anyways, they're pretty power hungry fans, but like the regular base fans are a little bit nicer on the power usage and the energy bills. So I think it, in a way, is a good change. Like, last year, inflatable, last year's inflatables also, at this size, also had issues. Or like, with them, or like, not issues, but like, small fans. What the hell? Why is it, why is it choppy? fan is choppy. I don't know if I got that inflated. There is a, like a quality price I have to pay for. So, I didn't think it would be that bad. Although, after this I'll take apart the fan and check it out. But for now, I like it. He's about 12 feet. Seems pretty large. He has the short circuit lighting, which was why it was after. Because I, I, lo I love the short circuit effect. It just like, I like the like bright purple, the black light effect, and all that stuff. This looks like he's based off of the a low 16 foot design and this is like scaled down to a 12 foot design I wish Lowe's did have a 16 foot anyways but like I like this one too because the 16 footers cost $200 so it seems like a new trend for 2020 inflatables is that they have like a third tether thing on the back or a hard point. So I don't know what that's about. All this stuff, this, all this like, like, I don't know. Stuff to get off my inflatable, not to get dirty. So I, I overall really recommend this inflatable. Although do be careful that, or be aware that the Maybe the quality is slightly questionable. I had to like um, RMA an inflatable last year and got the pumpkin stack instead. I got the pumpkin screws and that one didn't work very well. Like it didn't inflate because it, was, it had so many holes in it. This one seems to have like a grindy fan. So I don't know. Because like the fan should be made all the same. But 
Who knows? Maybe these are like the... Mm, so maybe they like get the mm, fans that do not work as well and put them in the Walmart ones. At least I got them for cheap. Maybe I could fix them. So overall, mm, very cool. I've wanted this since I heard of it. And now I got it. Although, maybe next time I'll get like the other Walmart Pumpkin Reaper, or I'll get the big um, flat pumpkin, which also, which both of them cost $49 as well. The female ghost, I don't, I'm not getting because, or most likely not getting because I already have that, or the design very similar to that, like almost exactly the same. Like the 2021 does not have much different or much difference from the other from the 2019 one I have so this one I definitely got and maybe I'll also get the arching reaper because that one looks like the 2018 Lowe's pumpkin creeper with the like the thing sticking out of his back so yeah thanks for watching and like the video